Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is a balls deep of a first person shooter game by the name of Ultra Kill, played on the PC. This game went by the name of Devil May Quake, as it combines the stylish action of Devil May Cry with the Quake inspired first person shootery. And we're going to jump straight into this, such is the way. Um, I don't know where I was the last time I played, but we'll go on standard for the for the sake of, of running this. There's the prelude, there's infinite hyper death. I've, uh, I've done this level, I got an A rank because I suck. Uh, we'll jump into the burning world 1-2. So as you can see, we are slowly descending right now into the layers of hell. And this is overkill. Well, that's sick. Uh, this is Devil May Quake, or as it is known, Ultra Kill. I start with some weapons that I've inherited from the levels I've played. I've got a shotgun, I've got this pistol, I have the ability to... There's a, a dash, which has a cooldown, as you can see, in the middle of the reticle, which you can use in midair if you want to. Chain dashes. And I also have the ability to sprint, even though in this game it is a slide. And you can slide in any direction. And when you slide, it usually makes sparks. And when the scoring is enabled, the, the more you slide, the further the distance you slide, the more points you get. And it's very much like the Vanquish slide. The gun I have here has a secondary function. It lets me charge this orb into a very destructive shot. And you can see it recharging on the back. And then when I shoot, I've got a normal, normal shooting pistol here, and the ammunition is seemingly infinite, I think. Because it's not really about ammo this game, it's about how you use it. Here is your shotgun, fires your standard shotgun, secondary feature, lets you charge the shotgun, and release a bigger explosion. And when you're in mid-air, you can indeed press a button to come down and slam like that. And it will give you, well, if you land it, it'll give you some kind of points. There's the start of our, our massacre to begin. I've not played this since I got it on my machine because I was saving it for a moment such as this, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm a bit fingers and thumbs right now. But it's about trying to be as interesting as you can with the game. There's a parry in it if you time it right, which I'm absolutely not doing. And I can't for the life of me land that. There is a punch. For some reason, the game is not running right, but such is the life, right? That's too soon. Right, see if we can hit this guy with the parry to show it off. That's a parry. That was also a parry. See the hit stun? Very cool feature to, to fight back at people at range. The timing on it is good because it's tight. It's as it should be, really. None of this 30 frame windows on parries like some games. But once you play through a few of the levels and you get the feel for it, you really... Like, do you see me jumping, getting a modifier on the right here? And as I slide on my knees, the modifier goes up. You can't change your direction once you start the slide. You have to kind of commit to it. But you can turn while you're doing it, and linking the, the mobility in the air and the sliding and all the different moves. And Of course, once you're warmed up and once you've been playing for a decent amount of time, you kind of get what's going on. The mobility on the jump here has got a floaty nature to it that you have to get used to, and if you've been playing, you'll you'll probably have the feel down really well. But it's been like a week since I grabbed this, and I've been meaning to showcase it. But as you see, we've got a couple guys here. Completely fucked up on my parry like a true player. And then whack that guy, is he dead? It didn't even kill him. You can play it like a traditional shooter, but it, it's kind of going against the point of it. They want you to chain together as stylish as you can and do some really interesting stuff. I'm not actually sure if I'm supposed to be doing this. And I'm going to fall because I'm a beast. And I don't remember the buttons. I don't have the red key yet. Maybe it wanted me to jump across there and that door would have opened. When you're all fingers and thumbs in the movement, it's kind of not ideal. 
What is this? Some gore. So what I'm going to do, guys, is because this is a bit more in-depth with the platforming and with the exploration, which is cool for diversity's sake, but I just want to show you some killing, so I'm going to do the, the prelude. Uh, there's a bunch of missions here, as you can see, in the prelude. It's called Overture, the Mouth of Hell. And we'll jump into that. Just to give you an idea, and the reason I really like this game is that you... It's very quick. There's a speed to it. And there's a swag to it, and it just kind of throws you into the gameplay. There's no fast walking, there's no Abby killing all the characters you care about. It's just, here's a video game, for better or for worse. And I really appreciate that. And, unfortunately at the moment, I'm not the best at it. But that can be improved, you know. It's fast, it's responsive. And it's all about score, it's all about how you move through the levels. And the levels are dosed in such a way that you get a really nice... It's brief, it's meaty, but it's very fast. And it's definitely going to reward the replay value. Oh, did it miss? Oh, no. Here we go. So the glacier is really interesting because you can use this to your advantage. And get like big streaks on those guys. But be careful because you can fall as well, so you've gotta you've gotta be paying attention. But it definitely reminds me of, of like the, the bullet storm stuff. It reminds me of Sunset Overdrive, the club, you know those stylistic games with a lot of interesting ways to kill things. Is this where I came from? There's an interesting wall kick as well that when you combine it with some of the other abilities you can do some cool stuff. But the more you play, the more you'll get the hang of it. And it's just you wrecking as much havoc as you can. And if you can hit that ball into like a group of people. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate too. That was unfortunate as well. And there you go. Try and do it too much, you get fucked up. And you are graded on how you do things like that, so it's in your best interest to try and do it correctly. I would imagine there's a big no damage bonus. I can never land that, maybe I don't have it yet, or maybe I just suck. Probably the, the latter. There we go, that was much better. Like, if you could hoard them all and then parry that ball into them, you probably get some serious points. And what I like about it is the idea of planning your route and coming up with interesting lines. What are you doing? Ah, there you And if you're quick enough, you can chain it all together, which I'm not going to show you the, the best example of because I'm not chaining things together that well. Oh, nearly. But I do love the timing on that because it's exactly where it needs to be for it to be skillful feeling. But it's just loose enough so that you can actually hit it rather than missing it all the time. See, like, if you do it too early, you are in trouble. And you should be in trouble if you do it too early, you know? And then we've got the Malicious Face, everyone's favourite boss. You can parry the shit out of him. If you hit that first one, you can kind of like time the rest of them and just do insane damage to him. And then that's the end of the level. And then it grades you to tell you how shit you are. 
So we weren't very fast. We got the good amount of kills. Our style was probably lacking. Yeah, we only got the A on the style, and then we restarted, which hurt us. We didn't find any secrets, and we ended up getting the A rank. But the combination of the short levels, and then the, the high-speed gameplay, and the fact that the more you play, the more you're going to understand how to play and how to link everything together, I think is a really, really strong feature of this game. I'm just going to turn it down, though, because it's it's making me forget what I'm saying. And it's not the easiest game to play and talk to, as you can probably imagine, but I want to show it off because I think it's really good. And then there's this weird, like, falling screen here, which makes you think the, the game has crashed, and sometimes it, it kind of does. So just restart the mission, and it should drop you in the correct space. So it's a little bit, it's still in, you know, pre-alpha or whatever they call it. It's, it's, a, it's a modern video game, so it probably won't work when you want it to. When you want to show your friends, it won't work, but... And here we go, Meat Grinder. So we've got a guy just there. We hit his limb. There's going to be people running at us here, so we're going to drop them into the, the grinder beneath us. And someone's behind us, so we'll drop those guys in as well. We've got a nice uh, supreme kill. Try and chain it into this room. That's a, a sneak peek at the boss we're going to be fighting soon. Oh shit, I'm dead. Whoops. Don't go that way. Yeah, knowing the levels can be such an advantage, obviously. What the best thing to do with him is... I do like that wall kick, it's very interesting. So that was terrible, did better the first time, but we know now that when we trigger this, they're gonna be coming from like this way, right? Still can't hit that though, because I suck. That missed completely. See if we can line them up. Should probably be skating around and shooting a bit more, but you get the idea of it. You can play accurately, you can play it minimalist, you can do a lot of different ways of approaching it. It's kind of sleek. So there's the, the grinder here that will crush people. It's quite nice. Crush you though, so be very careful obviously. Let's see if we can get these guys involved. Oh wow, when I needed you most, you were not there, were you son? Oh, there it was. <laughs> you gotta try it. And the dodge is actually really strong. I think it gives you iframes. It's just the mapping on the dodge and the sprint is a bit weird for me, so I really do forget to do it. Interesting. This looks bad. You okay? That was the boss again, teasing himself. Maybe you need to have speed when you do that, or it just doesn't work. I don't actually know. You can stamp on people, because I've done it. I'm just not so cognizant as to how. Maybe it's like at the end of this. It's a bit of a, like a repercussion there. Oh, I missed it when I needed it most. No. That looked cool. But it's just, it's really fun, guys. It's really fast. It's really short bursts, brutal, frenetic. It's like everything it needs to be. You know when first-person shooters overstay their welcome and you're getting lost and you're getting frustrated? Like, this is just, it's staccato shotgun blasts of gameplay. And I, I'm just chucking it on here with some commentary and my ranks are trash and I don't know what I'm doing, but when you put the time in, you can feel yourself getting better. You can see the improvements. You can see it in the way that you play and it just completely transcends what it becomes. So here we go. We've got a, another fall into a mission. There's your dash. Double down. Dude there. Dude over there. Any more dudes? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. It's gonna take some 
getting used to the controls, especially if you're on mouse and keyboard, which you probably will be for this title. Hi guys. Oh, oh shit. Didn't expect him to rush me like that. I don't really know what to do when they're close like that. Shit, that was weird. Who is this? Oh, this is a new guy, I think. You can parry him, but he does like an interesting like laser shot. And notice the motifs of these guys. That's gonna be important later on. If we get that far, which we probably won't, but we'll see what's in here. Is this the boss? Oh, this will be cool. You can see the uh, the parry timing on the boss and what you can do to him. So the moment he flashes like that, you can actually parry this dude as you would in an action game. Then you can do big damage to him, which is really nice. Sometimes you kind of whiff like that, and you get yourself in a weird spot. Like this, where he's like on top of you. But you can you can do some interesting stuff with the bosses in this, which I really appreciate. You can dodge these moves if you want to just focus on dodging. But if you get that parry, you can just wreck him. Really wreck him. And I think once he gets all pissed off like this, he doesn't uh, he doesn't care about your parry. And he's still tracking me pretty perfectly there. But you can do some serious damage to him. And then he runs away. And on that three hit combo that he does, you can actually parry each of the hits and get rewarded for them. And it's a nice timing, it's a good feeling. There's our new weapon. Shotgun. And you'll notice, do you see the fresh weapon bonus? So when you change weapons, when you first put your weapon on, it gives you a, a bonus for that, which is nice. So it's it's trying to get you to swap between your equipment. It's trying to get you into the mood of how you score a game like this. You know, this is not just about me running around and shooting things safely from a corner and clipping and using head glitches to cheat the game. This is about understanding your arsenal and how to use it and applying it in some really cool ways. And you'll see none of that in this gameplay because I'm not there yet, but you get the idea, right? So they go all the way up from the top and then they hit you. I'd like him to shoot at me so I can hit those guys and completely miss those guys. That'll do. That's so cool when you do it close like that. I don't know why this guy's so tough though. This guy's a beast. But just... Oh shit. Look at that three times multiplier when you get that big old slide going. I wonder how you use the fan to your advantage here. That was unfortunate that it missed him. Oh, shit, I didn't realize that that was a press. I thought there was only one on the side. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't really get it. There you go. But yeah, difficult to talk and play this one and kind of give you the low down because your brain is just trying to do a million things and it's kind of new and different and unique and cool. But I just want to show it off, guys. You'll, you either know from watching it so far whether or not it's something that might appeal to you 
and uh, I just think there's something really, really cool here that people will enjoy. Gotta be careful on that one. Oh wow, you can hit that back. But do you see, you can kinda, you can kinda, kinda do that. There's some cool stuff with it. I'm not very good at it, but. See if we can get this. Get a nice, I wanna hit the thing back. Hang on. That's not what I did, game. Come on now. Huh? Oh, right, there's a horizontal one too. That's the one I was expecting. Oh, ouch. There is a difficulty as well in this. That did not work. That did not work either. But as you can see, parrying is one of those things where it is actually skillful, so... Getting a good parry on this guy... ...is going to pay off, rather than in some games where it doesn't mean anything. And you've got to be careful, like, I, he chases you down real good. They want you to use the dodging, of course. But like it's, it's just an interesting dance of knowing your abilities and knowing how to use them. And I'm not there, not even close, but I see the picture and I, I see the potential. And that's the reason why I really wanted to share this for the people that might not have seen this. This has been Ultra Kill. Uh, it's available right now. It is a really, really interesting game. As I get a nice BSB rank with seven restarts and a disgusting D rank. But there you go, guys. Thank you for watching and you take care now.